Chetan Narula reporting for Cricket World for the final time in this 2019 ODI World Cup. And that word final underlines everything. It's the 48th game of this tournament. It's the last game of this tournament. And we are looking forward to a new team being crowned champions in this 50-over format. It's England versus New Zealand. Let's dive in straight away as to what could be the salient features of this particular matchup. First up, England, well, they are a powerhouse team. They are always looking to get quick runs. They are always looking to cross the 300 margin in terms of ODI cricket scores. 300 for them is par on any wicket in any conditions. And in this particular tournament, it has at times cost them. They, they were not able to chase against Sri Lanka. They were, their batting collapsed against Australia. But then they re collected themselves, you know, dialed down their expectations, had a team meeting and since then they have looked the English side of the old. They beat India and they beat Australia in semi-finals. Two good teams that you almost have to beat every time if you want to lift the World Cup trophy. Now they need to beat New Zealand for a second time in this tournament if they want to get their hands on that ever elusive prize. So what could be the possible weaknesses for England? The very fact that they like to score quickly, irrespective of conditions. The bowling perhaps, it's looking good. It's looking really good. Did not give any quarter at all to Australia. Subdued them with tremendous pressure, but it is fallible. At times, it can look a bit squeaky. And again, it comes out, that factor comes out if the opposition has a great batting lineup. So in that sense, England will be really guarded and that's where we come to the second aspect of this game and that's New Zealand. The Black Caps who are in their second straight World Cup final. I mean, who would have thought it really? Who would have thought it that New Zealand would make it to the final? Not somebody like India, not even Australia, not even Pakistan who... Well, they still consider themselves to be in 1992 and still very unlucky not to make this World Cup uh, knockout stage. But the fact of the matter is that New Zealand did the business when it mattered most. Yes, they lost against better sides, but they did the business as they did it in the semi-final against India. What a shocking game that was. 240 on a slow pitch and they defended it against a lineup which had powerhouse batting names. Rohit Sharma, Virat Kohli, KL Rahul, MS Dhoni, and they still defended 240. And that's the bottom line for New Zealand. In terms of batting, they're too reliant on Kane Williamson and Ross Taylor, who are the only ones who've scored runs. And that's why New Zealand haven't really gone to past 300, which is considered a pass score. But then you look at their polling, and this is an attack. This is an attack that has defended 280, 240, 260, even 220. They made Pakistan work in getting those 230 runs in their league game. So this is a side which plays attrition cricket. This is a side which has played in different surfaces, on, in, in different conditions, and they've adapted themselves. This is what New Zealand's cricket has been about in this tournament. And now for the third aspect of this game. Look behind me, just look behind me. Can you see the pitch? It's a green pitch. Usually at Lords, the green grass helps the pitch stay together so that it's not really turning square. But it also means that it's not a flat padding beauty as England would have liked. This is another pitch, another game of cricket where conditions will matter. How you adapt to those conditions will also matter. And we've seen at times New Zealand do that better than any other side in the competition, which is why they are here in the final. England are here in the final because they can also transcend conditions and pitches but to a certain extent. Will that play out here on Sunday or will it be New Zealand who will top the conditions, who will, you know, ascend the conditions once again and beat England? Remember, this is the first time in a World Cup final since 1992 that two sides who have never previously lifted the trophy. This is the second time for New Zealand in a World Cup final, third time for England. They are back at Lords in a World Cup final for the first time since 1979. What's guaranteed on Sunday is plenty of sun, plenty of good cricket and a new ODI world champion.